Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with my very first Toy Hex video of 2022. But before we get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for War for Cybertron Kingdom, Rodimus Prime. And this decal set is a big one, consisting of seven different decal sheets on a combination of foil and vinyl backing. So, without further ado, let's take a look at Rodimus Prime and his trailer, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Rodimus looks great and very faithful to his original Generation 1 toy and cartoon appearance. Now, taking a closer look at the figure, you will notice some paint details right there in the center of the forehead for his crest, silver for the face, and he's got some nice blue eyes. He also has his trademark flame decal right there on the chest with the red Autobot insignia in the middle, and he's got some yellow there for the headlights from vehicle mode. Also, up on his shoulders, he has some silver paint applications. Down on the wrist, you've got some orange and yellow. Here for the waist area, you've got two different shades of red. You kind of like have a bright red there for the crotch area and more of a off red for the rest of the waist piece. Moving on down the legs, the legs are orange and the lower legs are black. Not many paint applications there whatsoever. Actually, there is none but lots and lots of great molded detail. I mean, the figure looks fantastic, and I really can't wait to see what Toy Hacks can do for him. So there you go, guys. Rodimus Prime in robot mode before. And after. Rodimus here gets quite the upgrade thanks to Toy Hacks. And the first decal you're probably noticing is the new chest decal. Now, word of warning with this decal it is printed on really thick ink. So when you peel the decal off, it's gonna curl and take some work to get it straight and in the proper position on the figure. But once it's applied, it looks fantastic. And there's three different parts to this decal. The main one here with the Autobot logo and the decals here up top, which complete the look. Now I do wish it went all the way to the bottom of the orange, but it still looks great. Moving on to Rodimus's head, he gets new decals right there for the brow and there on the ears, right here on the neck, new decals right there and new decals for the eyes. Up here on the shoulders, you got blue decals right there. Moving on down to the waist, you got new decals for the headlights and lots of new decals for the crotch area. On down to the legs for the thighs you get red decals right there for the outer thighs and these highlight decals that go on either side of the knee and I really like that that breaks up all that orange the knees get new silver decals down here above the ankles gets new yellow and red decals and the feet get gray decals right there on the inside of the legs Toy Hacks was gracious enough to give us screw cover decals. Now, earlier, I forgot to show off Rodimus' sword, which is also going to get some decals. Now, straight out of the packaging, the sword doesn't look too bad. It's got a black hilt with a silver blade with lots of nice molded details. Toy Hacks is going to give us some options for the sword. So you have a blue energy blade or a Cybertronian blade. So with two different sets of decals... What do you prefer, the Cybertronian blade or the energy blade? Cybertronian, energy. Let me know in the comments below. So there you go, guys. Rodimus Prime in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Rodimus looks 
awesome. And I actually prefer Rodimus's car mode more than Studio Series 86 hot rods. Now, taking a closer look at the vehicle, the sculpted detailing on this is amazing. You got all this detail up here on the spoiler. You got vents, air intakes right there, all the little details all along the side of the vehicle. It just looks great. I mean, it's a lot beefier than Studio Series 86 hot rods, which makes sense. Now, as far as paint applications go, there's really not that much. Of course, you got the yellow spoiler with the orange right up the center. Here on the front of the vehicle, on the hood, you've got the flames with the red Autobot logo right there, along with the yellow for the lights. The window, not a big fan of the window. The translucent plastic really shows all of the robot junk there on the inside. I kind of like the Cybertronian look to it, but still you can see all the screws and hinges and everything, and I'm just not a big fan of the translucent windows. Now the wheels, the wheels, they look terrible. I mean, with all the details on the car mode, you think the wheels, they could have made those a little bit better. I mean, the sculpted details are all right, but there should have been some paint applications. Now the back of the vehicle, there's really not much. You can tell that's the robot's feet. You got some vents right there and some molded details near the bottom. So all in all, it's not bad looking, but I can't wait to see what toy hacks can do for it. So there you go, guys. One final look at Rodimus Prime's car mode before. Now, before I show you guys Rodimus Prime's vehicle mode after, I want to show you where the cockpit or window decals go. It's these decals right here, these nice chrome ones, and they actually go on the inside of the window opposed to the outside. And what I'm going to do is I've got this Got him all mistransformed here, so I have easy access to the inside of the window. You've got this gray section right here that is held in with two little Phillips head screws. So I've already taken those out, and this here should pop right out. So yeah, I've got that popped out. That way it's going to be easier for me to apply these decals. So just a quick heads up. That's where those are going to go. So now, let's get to that after shot. And after. And now you can see the end results of my work here on the cockpit. And I really like how that looks. No longer translucent. You can't see all the robot junk through the window. But I do like how the silver now accents the designs in the molds. That looks really, really cool. There's also a decal here that gives it more of a roof, so the window or cockpit is just not all one piece. Now you also see a new decal here for the front that is a big, bold flame logo with a red Autobot logo there in the center, and man, that really pops. My only complaint with that, I wish it went all the way to the end. As you can see, there is a little bit of orange that shines through, but still, that looks awesome. He also gets new decals there for the lights, new decals for the wheels to give them silver rims, which looks really, really good now. Up here on the spoiler, you get some blue decals there, and the back of the vehicle, new decals here on the bottom of the feet, and there are tail lights. So I really like the looks of Rodimus Prime's car mode now. So there you go, guys, Rodimus Prime in car mode after. Rodimus Prime's trailer, straight out of the packaging, is also very faithful to the original Generation 1 toy and cartoon appearance. As you can see, he's got the Rodimus Prime trademark flames all along the side of the trailer on both sides. That looks really, really good. And he's got the orange and yellow stripes here up top with the big red Autobot insignia. And that's pretty much it for the paint applications. I do like the silver there for the exhaust everything else is just sculpted details which do look really really good and i hate the wheels the wheels they, they got sculpted details but they are just very plain looking now let's go ahead and get rodimus's trailer opened up into battle platform mode just open this up here bring this section down and flip this open we'll raise the double barrel cannon flip out the blast shields and there we go. 
Now, inside the trailer for Battle Platform Mode, no paint applications whatsoever, but there is, once again, lots and lots of sculpted details, especially here on the center area with the gray. You've got some sculpted in diamond plating and some tread areas. I really like that. Lots of weapon storage, molded detail up there. Really not much to write home about as far as inside the trailer goes. Now, I do like the cannon. I love the paint applications on the barrel here, especially near the tips where it's blackened, kind of like scorch marks. But really, that's about it as far as paint applications go. Lots and lots of great molded detail all around, so that looks really good. So there you go, guys. There is one final look at Rodimus Prime's trailer and battle platform before and after. Rodimus Prime's trailer gets a bold new look thanks to Toy Hacks, especially with these brand new flame decals that go all along the side of the trailer. That gives Kingdom Rodimus Prime more of a Generation 1 Rodimus Prime look, especially with the two-tone red background. And as an old G1-er, I really like the looks of that. He also gets new blue decals right there along the bottom and new rims for the tires, which really improve the looks of those. Here on the front of the trailer, lots of orange and yellow decals. On the top of the trailer, you got blue decals there. And on the back, I really like this. There's some silver decals along the top right there on those circles, a new fender and a license plate that says Rodimus. You do have multiple plates to choose from. I chose Rodimus. Now for the big reveal, let's get this all opened up so you can see what Toy Hacks has done with the interior. Get that all open and extend the cannon up. The cannon, go ahead and take a look at this first. Gets new decals right there for the blast shields, which look really good. A nice breakup from all the black. And if you turn the cannon around, there is a targeting system. So Rodimus can be right on target when he's laying out some Decepticons. Inside the trailer, you've got new decals right here up top, which show lots of nice diamond plating. Some yellow hazard stripes down the center. You get a runway i guess that's what that called right down the center all the way to the end and what i really like is the monitors and screens there on the inside of the trailer you've got one of the original primes the matrix looks like a targeting system you've got blaster coming at you not sure what that is i think that may be from the only human episode but this right here, I like this one. If I could zoom in any more, and that's about all I can get. That is the silhouette of the original Repro Labels logo. It showed Hot Rod with damage stickers running into battle. And I think that's really cool. A nice throwback to us old school Repro Labels fans. So there you go, guys. There is Rodimus Prime's trailer after. And now, of course, we have Rodimus combined with his trailer for that more authentic Rodimus Prime look. So there is one final look at Rodimus in his combined vehicle mode before. And after. Rodimus Prime in his combined vehicle mode looks amazing. I love the new flame decals. And man, this thing really pops now. So there you go, guys. Rodimus Prime in his combined vehicle form after. The Toy Hacks decal set for War for Cybertron Kingdom Rodimus Prime is quite a challenging set to apply, but the end results are well worth it. Word of advice, have a set of these pointy angled tweezers to use to apply these decals because it's going to help so much because not only do you have really large decals, such as the flames there on the trailer, but there are these little tiny decals, like the eyes, the lights here, and these little blue decals that I forgot to show off earlier, that are really hard to apply with a regular set. So these are highly recommended. I love the angled ones. They are my favorite. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. 
Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's your support that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!